Hey everybody, it's Death Dealer, and today I'm going to be doing a little hour-long tutorial kind of on the game Open Country. Um, it is a survival game that is also um, has a hunting, hunting aspect as well. Um, I'm going to do about an hour-long episode here on it. Um, I have played this game just a little bit before doing this. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through what I can in an hour and we're going to go from there. And I'm going to show you what things I know, tell you what things I have found out um, with a little bit of playing I did before. Now, the game I have noticed is very glitchy. Unfortunately, it is in need of some, some major bug updates. Um, I've had issues with problem saves and uh, losing uh, corrupt files and losing the saves. and Yeah, so there's been some issues. And <clears throat> like I said, there are a couple little things they still need to fix, but I do like the game. The game is pretty fun. Um, sorry about talking over all this uh, commentary there, but uh, so I'm going to show you as far as I can get and what I know up until now, and kind of give you some tips and tricks of playing this game and what I've what I've found out so far. Um, like I said, I've gotten to a one part that's like three or four missions in, and I can't seem to unlock it. Is is kind of a strange area and some stuff you got to do with the dog but uh, I don't know if I will get that far in this one hour but I'm going to try to proceed through it as fast as possible and uh, do everything I can do to get you know show you as much as I can I can um, which is which is helpful because there's a lot of things where I had issues with that I first started and I figured some stuff out and I'll even point out some stuff that's hidden when you first start that you don't know um, that I've found out so far. Um, so right now, basically, i got to do this first mission. I think i got to talk to him again. Alright, so now i got that. i got to take these bandages out. Okay, so here's the Mellow Hills area where I need to go for this first mission. Um, I can zoom in and out. And obviously the little marker is my thing, where I'm at, or where I, where I want to go. These are your parking areas where you're allowed to go to. Um, they'll be marked in your map. I think there's another one up over here somewhere. It, well, there will, it'll show up one. Um, as you get farther in, there's another spot that shows up. Um, the area where you're first going to is basically right here. So, you know, and I'll be landing here. <clears throat> in this first world here, I'll, show, I'll tell you why I am here. Um, right in this area, there is a boat, and then there's fishing areas out here, and those are the only sp spots where you can fish, where, and it'll tell you what kind of fish and stuff's there once you're on the, uh, once you're far a little farther in, and like I said, you can get the pole in your one live bait, and you can go fishing in them, um, like I said, I don't know, a good outpost out here to where you're hidden off, and you can amp that up, um, and then basically have yourself a little spot where you can smoke your food and uh have clean water and whatnot ready for you there especially if you get a water still you just you got to remember to carry enough tarps and, and you can make rope from the small game pelts but as far as tarps and cloth go i haven't you know finding them throughout the world when in hidden spots is pretty much the way to go with that so i'm going to work on getting started with going to this first spot here Well, like I said, I really have enjoyed the game so far. It's just the, so like I said, it's kind of it's got some glitches and some bugs and stuff. It needs to work out, and there's a lot of uh, certain items are hard to find. Um, like moss is one that is, um, it's only in certain spots. It's usually along the rivers, and you got to kind of search along a river, but you got to just keep following it. Use your hunter sense, and sooner or later you're going to run across it. But it's got to be a flowing river of some kind somewhere, and you literally just have to keep following it until you find it. You'd figure there would be more out in the woods and in the wild than what the game has, um, but yeah. Fortunately, not so. Okay, so first thing I had to do is I got to get down to where uh, where I got to drop these packages off. So here's my RV. I'm able to interact with my RV. Um, as I say, I can't do it right this second. But when you can, you have a fridge and stuff in your RV, and you are allowed to uh, 
basically um, store stuff. So if like you come out here and you pick a whole bunch of berries real quick, then you can go back and put them in your RV and they'll store for a lot longer and then you can take them back to the market and sell for money um, if you don't eat them. I mean, there's two kinds of berries that I've come across so far. Otherwise, when you got it on you, it starts to deteriorate a lot faster. So having it in in the fridge, especially on the, is very helpful. Now, I mean, I'm only going to be out on this first mission very shortly, so I'm not going to be exploring really long. <clears throat> but see, here's the thing. I went the wrong way. So I went up here. I needed to go here. So I need to course correct. I was chasing berries. And then you can always use your hunter sense, like I just used it and there's nothing around. Because I know certain sticks and logs and stuff are going to be hard to find at times. And like I said, it also highlights where stuff's at. So I like to hit it every now and again, look around. But it does take a, a shot on your stamina, I believe. And like, here's animals. They'll usually be by these burrows. Like I said, I don't have no way to attack them or hurt them. I haven't found the supplies yet needed, which here's some now. And basically I'm wanting to load up on everything I can. Because I'm going to get some kind of weaponry going. See if I can make anything yet. I can make a stone knife. It's better than nothing, I believe. Clip it. Alright. Like I say, collecting all these leaves, the mushrooms, it's all food and stuff. The berries are food and water, as long as you eat them before they start to get bad. Then they're food poisoning. Alright, so I'm going in the general right direction. Like I say, you just gotta use the hunter sets. Like right here, I just found a, a gold mine of branches and rocks. like the place. I should use the walkie-talkie to contact the ranger. Like I said, I'm just collecting up all the supplies right now, all the tarps. Anything and everything I can get my hands on, and then I will uh, readjust here shortly. Like right now, I'm over encumbered, so I'm walking really slow. But like I said, I was also I'm also preparing to construct a camp here in just a moment. Okay, so I want to go to use my walkie-talkie to contact the ranger, which is right here. And now if you ever do need some materials and stuff you can't find, like leaves or branches or wood, um, you can go to your... <clears throat> okay, first, to, to set the camp up, you need to build tinder, you need to build a bow drill, and then, let's see here, I want to equip the stone hatchet that I just found, okay, so if you need materials, and say you can't find them, you need them, um, you can go to the plants and the wildlife and stuff, like... 
I'll grab the berry bush while I'm here, but for example, get my hatchet out. And see, I just collected three branches off of doing that. Now if I went over here and did it to the tree, it'll probably give me um, logs. Or north three branches. And like if you go to some of the shrubbery and stuff, say you need leaves, and say I went to like this little bush here, maybe even these right here. Might work, might not. Uh, probably not on that one. Let's try it here. Yeah, it's hitting it. Let's see there, it gave me leaves. So, and as you use it, your hatchet has a health status bar over there, and it goes down as you use it for different things. So you need to be careful, you know, and watch that before you ruin it. Um, but if you do put it back in your backpack, um, you're, you will be allowed to... Um, um, it'll restore itself. The same thing with your guns, if you don't have repair kits on you when you're out in the wild. So if you, you know, you want to restore your guns or whatever... It can easily be done that way. And I needed some logs, so I'm walking over here. There's a whole bunch of logs. I'm already over encumbered, so I'm walking slower than slow, but I need the logs for the camp. So I'll make the slow walk over here. And grab some real quick. And branches are always handy. Especially when it comes to grilling mushrooms or cooking anything. Um, anything that you find that's raw, you can always resell it. <clears throat> but now anything you cook or you smoke, it's pretty much good for you alone. So the best thing I found is smoking meat. It lasts a lot longer. And then putting some extras in your fridge. And you only need you know, a handful at a time because they're obviously going to start going bad on you. But every time you're back at your home base, you can smoke it. But if you're out like far away and you want something to eat... You know, then I would suggest uh, I would suggest far away smoking it still everywhere. But if you're close, you could probably use a grill. Um, the grill also comes in handy when it comes down to um, purifying water, because you do have to be careful with your water and making sure that it's clean. Okay, so I pretty much just went around and I think I got enough logs and stuff now to do what I need to do. Hopefully, grabbing a couple more of these berries so they can respawn okay so I'm gonna probably put my camp like right in this neighborhood so let's see here camp I want to get it to where it's kind of out here and open I got room there we go all right so, gonna make me a leaf bed. <laughs> Campfire. Let's upgrade that and. Do a stone circle on it, and I want to do the hmm. Smoker's probably the best here because I believe the lake behind me is fresh water, so I think the smoker's probably a good option here. And then do an outpost. I need logs and rope, which I don't have either. Um, so I'm going to take my backpack here. I want to drop all these rocks because that's a ton of weight. Drop these sticks. And this log. One of these knives. Going to eat a couple berries and restore some of my water and food. 
like I say, blueberries I know it's the best are for eating, and now the uh, barberry I usually like to use them for making a stomach uh, stuff all the time because occasionally you will get food stomach poisoning or whatever you want to call it, and uh, yeah, it's a bad deal. So, okay, so I'm gonna make my wooden bow here so I can do some hunting. See if I can get some rope real quick. Which basically to get rope, you just gotta kill small game that have a hide. Alright, I need arrows too. Whoops. Okay, that should be enough. Got me three arrows. All right, now I'm ready. Pick up some more of the loot over here. What's that? Whoops, I didn't want to pick up the log. the problem with the logs and stuff they're really heavy they weigh you down quick I could have used the box back there and just dropped off everything but instead I'm just gonna walk over here and keep everything together in a pile I think I got enough of the items I needed because there was rope over there to finish what I was needing to do. Um, so, I want to grab a couple branches here that I picked up. In case I need them here. The log. Upgrade. Okay, I need branches still. Okay, so quick problem to solve that, as I just showed you earlier. Since I need branches, I'm right here. Take a little more of the... There, see, I got three more branches. Let's do it again. I got six. Cost me some, uh, cost me some of my axe stuff, but you know what? It's all right. Okay, so we got that down, the outpost part, and then I want to do the reinforced one because I always like to hopefully make sure my outpost stays, <clears throat> doesn't deteriorate on me. And then I want to do a I'm gonna do a tarp cover, I guess. Sounds like a good idea because I can always buy more tarps that or I need to do water collection I don't know because that takes a lot the water collector is important but I think there's fresh water in the lake so I'm not too crazy worried about that since I already got the smoker and stuff I think I'm just gonna make it a good little sleeping spot and use the tarp cover even because like I said you will be able to buy this stuff from the um, at the, uh, the shop or whatever. All right. Time to go doing a little hunting. Pick up some more resources maybe. There's a whole bunch of mushrooms and stuff right here. Mushrooms are excellent when it comes for food. And like I said, you see, just picking up them leaves and stuff, I've already become over encumbered again. 
so I'm gonna make my way back to the base here real quick. There's a just a whole bunch of stuff right here in this little area. <clears throat> But, like I said, I wanted to make sure I had some supplies here. Um, plus, it's not quite dark time. And he and when you go do go to sleep, he shows up in the middle of the night on you. So. Okay, I got a big old pile of rocks here. So I'm going to add some more to it. Come over here. Drop these leaves. And these branches because they kind of go together if you ever need to make tinder. I'm gonna walk over here and drop these logs. Hopefully they don't roll down the hill. And they do. Wishful thinking. Okay, anyway, so I don't really need to uh, need to eat or not make food or nothing. I have tons of raw mushrooms. You can eat them raw and berries um, so I'm pretty good on that I guess it wants me to start a campfire too huh all right I'll start a fire since I already made the stuff I needed the bow drill and whatnot and while I'm here oh, I ain't got no ranches left I dropped them all. Okay, so do that. And I'll show you how to make some grilled mushrooms real quick. So I got branches. Um, so the grilled mushrooms, you need a branch, uh, one mushroom and a knife. I have the stone knife, so that works. And so I'm going to make uh, three of them real quick. Because you can put three around the fire. Now if I had meat to smoke, I could put... Uh, meat on that on top of the the smoker and it could be smoking three meat while I'm grilling whatever or three meat I could be smoking three and grilling three or however you want to do it you know you do need to get meat on a regular basis because once you do get the dog the dog you need to feed the dog the raw meat from what I've noticed anyway I've, what's what I've been feeding him and that's the only thing that works best as far as maintaining his health bar so he needs to eat meat like twice as fast as you do I mean, your character is allowed to, you know, eat the raw mushrooms and all that. You can feed him the mushrooms and stuff, but I never noticed that much of an increase in his health. Um, I know when you give him the meat, it works out pretty good. And he comes in handy too, especially when you get to where you're starting to take down the ducks and stuff. But like I said, I don't think I'm going to get that far in, in this uh, first hour of what I'm going through to get to show it to you. I'm kind of waiting on these mushrooms to get done, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let them cook, and I'm going to rest and wait for the ranger to get here, and they should be done. The fire will burn out. Hello, are you there? Sorry for disrupting the wait. That's all right. Here's the packet. Thanks for taking the time to bring it over. So you're the ranger around these parts? Yeah, that's me, Ranger Ainsley. You know, these parts are beautiful and may seem quiet, but it can sure be busy work. It sure is. What brings you around these wilds? I just needed to get away for a while. Get away from the daily routine. I feel like I haven't had a rest as good as last night in years. I understand. You know, seeing as you're set for a change of pace, I could use a capable hand to help around. I'll reward your help, of course. You looking for a partner? Yeah. You could say that. How could I refuse a ranger? All right, then. Glad to hear. I'll be around the Snow Ridge Lodge later. Check with me, and I'm bound to find some work for you. In that case, I'll see you around. Excellent. Well, I got the head off. Duty calls. Take care, partner. All right. So my mushrooms are all grilled. My campfire I can extinguish. 
and eat a, uh, gonna actually eat one while I'm here and then I need a little bit of water so I'm gonna hit my water flask up and I'm gonna find out real quick if the the lake is fresh water or not grab some more berries as usual all oh, these mushrooms are back take them it's all worth some money here there's a lot of mushrooms along the edge especially that corner anyway I don't know so much about over here okay now um, to see if this water is fresh um, to fill up your water flask you just go into the water and then you click on the water flask and he should fill it up there you go taking a bath too but yeah that's how you fill up your water flask and this lake here is actually considered fresh a lot of them are not you can tell on your water flask bar if it's light blue like it is it's fresh water um, if you fill it up and that turns those little bars are yellow then that means it's not and you have to boil it and you need a um, a grilling uh, the grill part to boil it so um, that's why I was debating between making the smoker or the griller right there and it's better to make the smoker because this lake is considered fresh and that is really really handy when it comes to having fresh water because then you don't need to have a water collector out here nor do you need to have um, <clears throat> like that you don't have to worry about that or the griller you can smoke meat here uh, meat is plentiful so you're always able to come back here and collect some meat real quick and if you need to and smoke it and then you have it for future endeavors because um, like I said it will last for a little bit as long as it is in your fridge and your RV I'm going to drop off all this stuff I don't really need here. You know what? I, oh, I was going to mess with that stone knife, but I ain't going to worry about it. What I am going to do is save it right here just in case the game does crash on me. Because this game, um, it is kind of sketchy at times from my experience. I do love the game. The game is really fun to play. If they could get some of these last little bugs in it fixed, that would make it even better. <clears throat> Definitely want to keep collecting the mushrooms here. Like I said, that stuff was mushrooms and berries and all that. That's all worth a, uh, you know, money when it comes up to the trader and stuff. And hopefully I can make it to the trader here extremely soon. See, there's the RV. I should have been prepared. I knew there was foxes over here. Personally, I like the lever action rifle better. Because you can literally use the quick aim on it and pop off a bunch of animals really quick. Because then you can take the raw meat in with you and also sell that. I mean, that's just ways to make quick money in this game is just go out and do little hunting missions and kill a bunch of stuff and take it back and sell the raw meat and sell the raw meat, the mushrooms, the berries, anything you find. That is uh, like that you can sell. Also helps if you want to buy tarps, weapons, guns. And like I said, to find uh, moss in this game, you need to follow running rivers uh, for branches and logs. Just find big sections of trees. Uh, rocks are really popular around uh, water sources and rivers. There's also frogs running around along rivers and ponds and stuff. Uh, there's only certain spots where your fishing will work, so you can't just fish anywhere. 
Um, and then when you do go to fish, when you throw the, the bait in, if you see like a, a disturbance in the water swimming around, that means that is a good valid fishing spot and there's a fish there. You just got to toggle the bait back and forth until um, toggle the, the bait back and forth until it strikes. Then when it strikes, you hit your reel in and then you got to catch the cross beams on up and down and left and right. And if you catch that, you catch the fish. And like I said, the best thing to do then is either smoke it or catch a bunch really quick. And then take them back and sell them at the, here at the uh, when Nancy is here, which she won't be here yet, obviously. Um, when she is here, she'll be right over here. She should be showing up pretty soon. <clears throat> Let's make my way back over here to the Metal Hills area. Early on, the best thing to do is to do, like, once you get some of these missions in and you get some of the weapons, then go on little hunting trips, uh, make you some money, buy up all the clothing you need so you can dress appropriately with what clothing is available. There will be a handful of it here when Nancy comes as the trader. Um, like I said, collecting the mushrooms and the berries and all that. Um, very helpful. So you got to pick the rifle, equip that. Okay, so I got all these mushrooms and berries, so I'm at the RV, I'm going to go to the backpack, and then I want to take my berries and move to the fridge. So move them all to the fridge, and move this to the fridge, move all these mushrooms to the fridge, help preserve them. Uh, the live bait, I don't need that now, I can go into the, the trunk. The extra stone, oh no, the, that's the one I'm currently using. The extra one's down at the campsite. <clears throat> this cloth, I don't need all this cloth on me. It can be stored. Um, I want to hang on to the bandages in case I come across any wolves or anything. The stone knife and stone hatchet I like to keep on hand. I usually keep about three arrows. The branches I don't really need, but I'm going to throw them in, the, in there because there'll be more out in the wild. I don't think I really need a tarp or nothing for right now. Um, so I'm going to put that in the trunk. Like I said, I'm going to eat that in a minute. And I got some bullets. And so there I go. I'm ready to go. I got my bow in case I want to use that. Um, but like I said, as you uh, progress, like I said, you see my hatchet. I had damaged it prior when I was doing that harvesting. But once you travel somewhere and back and you're in your RV, your hatchet gets restored. The same thing with your other weapons. If Once your condition gets low on them, if you go back in here, it'll get restored. You can get repair kits, and I believe use them if you're out, if you're going to be out doing like a long hunting trip or something. Um, so, you know, those are that's always a possibility as well. But I think in this mission, if I remember right, I got to go hunt some... Um, Rabbits. Personally, I'm going to be hunting anything I can, so. And gathering, obviously, berries and whatnot along the way. As I explained, all that stuff is worth money here coming up, and having a good chunk of money when you start early on is best. And for some reason, I ain't able to hit shit. Hold on a second here. I got some skill points. I can update some of my stuff here. Didn't think about doing none of this. I want to increase my carrying capacity, obviously. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on that one. Um, 
Whoops. Weapon skills. Increase my accuracy. There we go. Maybe that'll help a little bit. But basically, I'm just going out to the wild here. Actually, I am going in the wrong direction. I need to go down to Mellow Meadows, which is south from here. Yeah, I took off in the wrong way. But I do that in this game. Um, I'll start, like, get on a path where I find berries or find resources that I want. And then I'll start following that. And then I'll be totally sidetracked. Mushrooms are back. Obviously, I want to collect them again. Like I said, your, your mushrooms and all that stuff, that's all money in the bank. <clears throat> Berries. So with just being here and then leaving and coming back, it's all just a big you know, money grab again. Um, which I said, money in this game will become very handy. Let's see here. I want to drop the leaves. That's the only thing I got that I wanted to drop. See where I am at on the map. Okay, I need to go off to my right a little more, I believe. Uh, whether or not I killed him, I don't know. We'll see. I think I did. Yep, I did. Got me an armadillo. Okay, I think I found it. Yeah, okay, I'm close. I kind of needed to come down this way anyway, so that worked out in the benefit of getting that armadillo. So now I just need to find the rabbits. I need to go this way a little more. If I remember, it is this patch of trees, which is actually called the area that we're looking for here. Wow, my aim sucks. <coughs> Definitely going to be fun trying to kill some rabbits. Okay, so I found the uh, Mellow Meadow. Sneaky mode. I gotta find where all these rabbits are hiding at. There's a big old patch of them around here somewhere.
I won. Ran right in front of me. I think it was pure luck. You know, if it's taking two shots to kill something, so be it. Okay, I need to get one more small game animal to complete this mission. I guess this lever action has been my primary weapon, mainly, in the beginning here. Just because I have not come across any stronger weapons. The shotgun's good, that's only for like if you start running into wolves. Uh, the shotgun is a must-have, because you know, then you just got to wait for the wolf to approach you, run at you, and as soon as they start running at you, you shoot them, um, and that usually uh, stops them. Uh, this lever action, if they run at you and shoot them, and you shoot them, it doesn't stop them unless you hit them with two shots when they're running at you. Otherwise, they will attack you, and you will get lacerations from it. From what I've learned in this game from playing it. And right now, I'm just looking for one more small game animal. Something moving. Again, collecting more mushrooms. Like I said, any mushrooms and berries you come across. Always grab them. Hopefully, I find this. Ah. Now you can kill these birds, these ducks. Um, you kind of got to get in the right spot for it, though. There we go. And you got to be quick on the draw. And, of course, the bird did not count for the small game. That's nice. Kind of really puts a damper on my plan. I was hoping that would have counted. So, I need to go out and hunt some more.
Well, I got a rabbit somewhere. I was trying to get more than one. For some reason, my auto aim is not working as good as it used to. Usually, if you're looking in the general direction and you hit target on it, it'll, uh, as you've seen it do on these stuff that's farther away, like that, but like this one here, or this one here, like that one there, it worked. It allows you to get a quick kill in. That's why I said I like this little lever action rifle with that. It works pretty good. I don't know if I got anything in all them shots I just shot up here, but you know what? That's fine. If I did, I did. I didn't, I didn't. But I'd rather use every bullet I can and try to sell any extra raw meat I can. And berries. I can buy more bullets. Alright, so it is... Definitely getting into the night time here. Um, I've completed my objective. I gotta return to the lodge, so I need to make my way back to the RV. So let's get stuff into a little more run mode here. Of course, I'm gonna grab any berries and anything I see along the way. I'm going the right way, of course not. Go this way. I don't use my compass as much as I probably should up there in the corner. sense there I me mean, I'm always grabbing branches there's something up here it's probably a mushroom yep. yeah there we go it's a fox it's a good pelt there so I need to go do west now Straight to the RV. That's why I say when I'm running, I, I like to keep this uh, rifle on hand for specifically what you just saw. There's tons of rocks. back down here by the water I'm gonna grab a drink while I'm here and let's see here I want to eat these mushrooms real quick Surprise on my hunger a little bit, and then I'm going to step in the water here and fill up my flask since this is, has been fresh water, so it's safe to drink. As you can see, I'll go back and check again. See, it's all blue, so that means the water is fresh. And now I have the meat and stuff I need. 
And actually what I'm going to do here is... Uh, I'm going to save it here. I'm trying to figure out which one. I'll just put it underneath that empty slot. Okay. It's continued to getting darker. So I need to make my way back to the RV. And that is northwest from that campsite, so which puts me right there. Of course, I want to continue to, obviously, as usual, pick up as many berries and everything as I can. Uh, let's go around the rocks. Like I said, they are all worth money and they all become very valuable here. There's usually a set of foxes or wolves over here. Wonder if they're out. Nope. I'm not seeing them what they are. Yeah, there was their hole right there. Just ran over it. <clears throat> it's usually worth a, a, a good pelt if they are out. Um, two if you can get them both. But my aim is not that good yet, so getting them both is not exactly on the agenda right at the moment. Um, so I'm going to put all this stuff in the fridge. And then, like I said, I got the. That was from that one I killed right there. That's why I said those are good to get to kill if you can. Um, okay, so everything looks all right here as far as what I got going on. Um, I'm going to fast travel now to the lodge like I'm supposed to for this mission. And I'm just about done with the first hour of the open country uh, playthrough and things that I know about it so far and where to find some stuff. Um, like I said, mushrooms... Berries are all over the place, mushrooms are all over the place, uh, stuff's more populated and more heavily game. So, you know, that's big kind of really to stay on track with the game and where it's going. And like the paths and everywhere they take you, there'll be some racing and stuff in it as well coming up. Like, that's where I'm heading right now. It's an old place which used to be used off the shelf to injure wildlife and the likes been sold off to a new investor and I have some supplies left around there. I need you to head on over there and gather them up. Are these supplies easy to carry? Well, no, but there's an AT I think I'm going to do a part one and a part two to this series, so I want to thank everybody again for liking and subscribing. Um, Drive them back to the front of the sanctuary and I'll take care of the rest. Well, alright then. I'll get on it. And then, um, I'm sorry about my commentary over what's the storyline, but it is all written on the bottom of what they're saying and what's going on. Um, as you see, the little tavern's starting to get some more people in it. And then that hat I found earlier is right there. That was at that first post. So now I need to go to the sanctuary, which is, that's not it. Because what was up here somewhere? Like right here. Hold on, did I not do something right? <clears throat> Should have popped up. Well, if I gotta walk there, that sucks. But I think I'm gonna call this the end of part one, and I'm gonna start part two. 
So thanks again, everybody, and hopefully I'll catch you again here on part two.